Hi, back again. We start. So, we make the next house. It is the crappery. That's the name. One beside the house that we made last time. And we simply start. It's three stages. And then comes the holes as you c did ever before. So, add mesh cube. Scale set. Then two loops in, so edit mode, control R, roll the mouse, left click to accept. Make two materials, one in white, plus second one new in red. Face selection, sign, we have a red material there. Now we need the windows therein. So, make here the windows and we make them create, scale set and make later the wood over it. So, that is one of them. Shift D, there comes the other one. Then we can take them both in the middle of three. So, Shift D. There comes that. Shift D, place another one there. And this two Shift D comes on the other side there too. That are the windows we have to cut in. So take simply one for the doors down under Shift D for the open space, better say. So that is what we want to cut so join that together and object apply rotation scale set origin to geometry so we have the windows ready and here is much space between and there so that means we must um, scale them down and we look they are at a high place and down there is much space the half maybe so that means they have to be there such like that that can be that one I think so okay then the object itself should have that but we have another stage where we have to do the same so we can simply shift D in edit mode and bring them there too so we cut that in one time that is a faster way to do that okay so we have it now but we have changed it so object apply rotation scale we have the name is cube 6 so we take the house modifier boolean cube 6 and say difference should be the operation and apply it and as we see we have done that good we can let the windows into because we later make them with a the texture so M to move to the second layer file save so when we look there correctly then you will see that um, there is wood there 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 and there that are one hole two holes three four holes in there so we have to build them four and that is a complete stage they go to the top of the ceiling this open places there so that could be the door stuff there join that together object apply rotation scale and bring them down to we take here the red color to see that better so red 
then we scale it to a size where we can handle them. Yeah, a little bit smaller. So that can be it. Uh, all in all, the stage is a little too high, I think. So that means we have to background selection, word selection. Go with the whole thing a little bit deeper. Then with the top stage a little bit deeper. And with that top stage deeper. So that should be the house. So we have changed all, so we must apply the rotation scale of the house again and from the cutter. So, same as cube 8. So we go here and say Boolean cube 8 difference apply. Nothing happens. That I have not often. Well, we was too far away. That may be. So we tried again. House is clicked. So cube eight different supply. Yeah, now it works. Good. There we can open up because there's a room behind that. So we simply take here, uh, we can take here the edges. Wow, I think it hangs. Oh, okay. So X, delete edges, and this open. Okay, we have no bottom, but there comes a street and such other thing, so don't worry, be happy. File save. Good. Um, then we have to make this wooden stuff there. It's very dark wood. And um, it, when we look at our texture folder, there isn't such dark uh, wood but um, as you hopefully learned on my tutorials you can give them each color that you want so when we take this one as a reference for that then we can make them darker so I think that we can take So we make here a wood material and before we need one wooden stuff to start that whole thing. So add mesh cube. Scale down, we make that top one here. Uh, so scale X. That should be it. Should be as great as the house is in front so we scale that a little that we come over that door but only minimal okay that should be that wooden stuff and now we want to texture them so before we have to object apply rotation scale then we go here to shading and mark scene and then u cube projection unwrap okay so we need a material the material should be a new one we call it wood we say it should be um principal shader 
it should be an image that we use we open up it from our texture folder and that is that one you can get them on texture.com it should have a high roughness then we open up here our node editor and to close that here then we go here by side and open up here the UV image editor and we have them both so now in edit mode you see here our unwrap from this part there and here we can open up our texture and now we want to plug that onto so we have to rotate 90 degrees at first then we can take here the front that is that one we can scale them up that it fits with one of them so scale X scale Y so such like that now we have a wooden material there but it's the wrong one that one was it wow I did it wrong so scale X so now we have that is our wooden material but it is to lighten that is not that dark that um, the other one is so we simply have to change the color into a dark wood how we do that we can plug here between the image texture and principal shader that's the color uh, path that is yellow so we can change that at color and we take um, mix RGB and you see it he can get yellow in and gives yellow out so that makes sense bring them between now he mix our stuff here with a white but we want a dark brown so we go here in the dark and we have that but that isn't enough so we don't want to mix it we want to add that that gives a harder effect so that is the effect by adding we can take your screen we can take divide and so you can look here all this stuff as you find your your favorite yeah and play around with the factor to see uh, what is more or less I will take there an add and make here the factor much higher but I see no effect here so I must look here only a little effect there so I go in the render view maybe that is only there to see but I see nothing so I get to go to multiply there you see it changing yes so that is a dark yeah dark brown if it is not like you would you can do it also change here yeah good but that don't look as good because it isn't real 3d so we need the displacement so we take here the image texture as displacement you see now what happens but this effect is too strong so we take here converter and mass converter between you see here we have gray input and gray output and that is a gray line so we can plug that there in and here you see is the yellow one but that makes sense because it is a value for for them gray means it is a value a number so that with a point 0.1 is enough for that and when you now want to see there some light on or such then the best is you make their um, 
mix shader and the glossy between. So add shader, mix shader, make them between the surface and the principal shader. Then you take here a um, glossy shader and make them as the second part therein. Now you see it is glossy, but overall, and that is wrong, should be only on some parts. So for that we take the texture as a factor to mix that. And now you see it only covered close on such things, not on each thing. Good. So file save as crepery two file save. Good. Um we also must set here the lights up, so lamp, light, it should be a sun, use notes, it five is enough in a moment. Then we take here our surface for the world, it should be a background, and then volume and texture, open up them, it should be in our texture folder, and we have there this HDR, and that we can take for the light there. Good, file save, and when we now render that, I can show you what I mean with this light effect. Uh, here you don't see it exactly, so I must change the sun position. The sun comes from behind now, and I want that it comes from front. So I simply rotate the sun through the house and straight down like 12 o'clock. Now normally you must see the reflections, the glossy. So render. And now you see it don't uh, make glossy everywhere but anywhere. And here you can say how rough that should be. And with them you can handle the gloss itself. Here you can handle how strong that should be when you make here a, a zero 05 then it's less and a zero 003 is normally one that I take for such. Don't make too much with the light there because then it's overdone. You also can take here the image and plug them into the color of the glossy. So he takes this own color and makes them as a glossy one. That is also a way you can go with them. And it makes it look also good. Uh, but you must know what you like. You see it here. Try it simply, and you will see. Okay. As more light, as less uh, dark color there. That, that, that is for sure. And um, if you want to make it harder, you can take their um, contrast, uh, by the way, or um, a color ramp. So converter. There's a color ramp when you plug them between them you can change the yeah strongness of this dark and lighten effect so if we go here deeper you will see that goes harder there and darker that brings it more to the light that makes it more dark and as smaller the range as harder the effects there. Good. We have done that. You can play around with them uh, to find your favorite position there. I give them a little bit more color there. File material. Okay. Good. File safe. Also the light 
makes your color that you see with uh, the light you can say how the color should look so don't forget that good we know plug um, plug our wood there over all so that we are on the side four so shift d rotate y 90 scale down we want to have the thickness of these parts first they are bigger than the other ones so such like that good scale set don't forget we want not each time the every time the same texture there course then you see it is all the same so shift D we place one there and then you go here in edit mode and select the face and then you can go here grabbing and position it one to the side and then it looks other good so what we have to do is bring here one over so shift D simply bring one there and shift D place one over them there we have the windows you only see them from the side because of the light how the light falls and here these ones you can simply shift D place them there on the top but here we must scale a little in the set Scale set. Okay. Here also. And think on the changing. So that looks more nature. Good. Then. Uh, the down part is only around the window but not complete through it but here on the sides there is one so we can simply shift D place them there on the side of the window so we must tweak a little to see there where it exactly is but that works good shift D place one there too uh, on the other side too so shift D place them there good then between the parts and around the rest there so we make it simple shift D and make them simply a little bit smaller as small as one part at the windows there so such like that maybe and scale X think that can work so shift D and place it down under 2 here we can grab and bring another in good then we have to do the middle parts here so we simply take one of them shift D and scale them down make it here the reddish one that we see better what we do there and that is enough so we let that uh, with shift D place it all over there and change the texture here grab one to the side there this one and here grab that one so we simply take them all and shift d place them over there 
and maybe mirror them simply so the texture turned automatically so okay then we only need here the stripes down they should be smaller than all the other stuff so shift D place one there and scale them down such like that and scale set so we have that then we take here an array modifier but not in this direction and before we can use them take the eye out so he is inactive and then object apply rotation scale now click the eye and it is active and now we can turn that right before apply the rotation scale he takes the wrong data to copy so that was the problem before we have four then we must scale them down scale set so we have that okay that is each one the same as you see now and that shouldn't be so we have to change that later so we shift D at first and place them all over there and in the middle too but there we need more so we give you a higher count seven and shift D and place them down under there so we have that that is okay uh, this here should all be wood so we can simply bring them here all down so shift D front view ah oh, there you don't see it so tweak a little away that's good that is okay too so they only must be a little bit shorter you see that there must a little bit more up but normally it don't matters because they come to the street nobody sees later how long they really but okay we do that. so file save we have to change here the textures so apply all this stuff so now we just change here the positions there ah that isn't the front so we disable the behind yeah and then that makes sense good grabbing grabbing and so on like all other stuff there Yeah, that makes um, the difference when you have them all the same. You would see that, and then you think, "Oh, that is not good. Look at that." Yeah. So it's work, but it must be done. Others don't do that, but <laughs> that you see, and that makes the difference between a good picture and a back picture. But 
don't overdo uh, that are seconds when you run through the streets where you see that all so don't need to be such perfectly but a little will be good good here you see that doubles so there we should change it and then that looks better here you see two that is a double so grab it and that's the other one okay file save and save as new version number number three So we have done that. That normally is all. So we only have to make it a roof. So control R, make your loop in. Take this um, yeah, edge there and bring them up for the uh, roof. And we have to do the windows that are here. Such mystery things. I never see such, but okay we can do it here is one between okay so we take here that one shift D and scale them a little down scale X bring them there that is more like there okay and here you see like stairs so we can make here loops in maybe five or such I don't know and then we take them and plug them on the sides so we simply take them and delete that here all then we take that simply shift D down a little bit back that you can make with a, with a ray that goes faster sure but I make it now by hand so you must find your own style how you model how do you do that? So we have that in there too. File save. The only thing we can get from the other file that we make uh, yesterday, that is that one here that we can use here too. So file save. I open up the old uh project the other house there that was the wooden house there and there we can take this part there yeah uh shift d to copy p to separate the selection so we have it now here and can set the rigid to geometry control c to copy and bring it to the other project the crappery and control v to plug in and here it is and we can use it here in our new house so but it should have the other material here so we have to give them not this wood so we remove them both and give them here the wood that we have and then we have it here and we can place it good so we can close the other project so now 
we pluck them on there there are down under each pick one so here we must make that then longer that it makes sense scale y and maybe that one a little bit smaller scale y yes okay then shift d place one there shift d there and there too so we bring it down one stage shift d bring it there here's the same we must bring a little bit more in and that a little bit more out and scale that in the Y maybe so we get that style there and at least at last no there is no one okay there only comes some pieces out Yeah, I think we make them shift D, place them there, rotate X 90 degrees, scale Y, and scale in the hole, scale Y again, so we plug them shift D over each there, and there I don't want to change the texture, that is too much for uh, that little stuff there good file save we need this white part there that's simply white painted but a little rough so we look in our texture folder what we find there texture some white stuff that maybe oh, it's a bit long. that one can be it but much finer okay so we take the title of the wall set up paint plaster okay so we get to the house make a new material and call it puts principal shader image texture open up texture folder get the stuff make it rough and take them for the whole house so we can delete the other two parts there then we have to give them a completely marked scene but not that that and that one but that makes no difference because we don't see them later you can handle it like you would there we make you cube projection unwrap and simply scale them such that we maybe see it a little but not much yet that's good file save uh, I must check which materials we have we need the roof have we a roof material here no so we must make it new call roof and we give them a um, principal shader we say image we open up our texture folder we search the tiles for the roof that's there so we place them there but it should be uh, have a high roughness and should be on only two faces that is there and on the back we give there an unwrap from view and go to roof and assign so we scale them here up and our roof is done we can change what we want in the 
node editor then to make our material with this placement with the other stuff there and have to do the windows and then this house is ready uh, but for today it is enough we will see the rest then later in the next tutorial part so thanks a lot and see you in the next tutorial part thanks a lot bye